Hey guys, Portia here. Today I am going to be trying out my infusible ink markers as well as pens for the very first time. I just recently got the mug press in with the everything bundle, so I wanted to try everything in it. Um, so yeah, today we are going to create a design and design space and we're going to press that design on this mug here. This is a non cricket mug. So I also have some paper here, sublimation paper that is. So they say you're supposed to use laser paper, but I don't have any on hand. So I figured why not try the sublimation paper? It should work. We will find out together. I also have some paper here to protect the press and our lint roller to clean up our mug, as well as our heat resistant tape. So let's go ahead and jump right on into design space. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and start our new project. And I'm going to go ahead and upload the design that I have chosen. And all it is is some flowers, butterflies, stuff like that. So this is actually just uploaded as like a basic cut. But because I want to use our pens and markers today, I am going to go ahead and change the operation to pen. And we go back in and we're using the fine point black pen. And so that's actually what we're going to draw with. And let's take a look here. That looks good. So now let's go ahead and resize this. So I was kind of looking for a design that was going to wrap around the mug. I haven't created a design like that yet. Everything has... Um, been like a solid background or either just a single image so this is something that i want to wrap kind of all the way around and this has some shape and personality to it i just downloaded it from uh, google just did a do google search and we are going to do like 8.75 on here by what is it 3.79 um, i measured the mug and that looks like it should work out just fine now I want to go ahead and insert a well a shape here and we're going to use this box for our background. I do want to change the color just so I can kind of see what I'm working with. Okay so we are going to go ahead and change the shape of the box and I want this to be slightly bigger than what we are actually working with with the image itself. So we're just going to do a 9 by 4 on that. I'm gonna go ahead and move this box to the back. I'm gonna place our image here and I always like to center. So I wanna make sure I have enough room on all sides. Just in case I made this too big, I can at least uh, cut that down when I go to wrap it around the mug. And we're gonna center this. No, oh, okay, great. All right, so what we're gonna do is go ahead and attach. And at this point, we can go ahead and make it. So we are going to be using the pen to draw with, and then we are going to cut around the edges, and this is gonna actually be our wrap. Now, I will be adding the color in by hand. Um, that's sort of the purpose of this particular project today. We don't have to mirror because, you know, this this doesn't have any words to it or anything like that that's going to be just fine so yeah let me go ahead and get this drawn up and cut out and then i'll go ahead and add the color guys so the coloring is all done the colors definitely came out much brighter than I expected don't know if it's the type of paper I used or this is just how these markers function that's what happens when you veer off course but let's go ahead and get the mug wrapped and we're gonna figure out if I did a bad thing or if it's gonna all work out
All right, so it is done. And we're gonna pop this. And I'm going to sit it on this towel. So if we just look at it, we can kind of see the image through, which is a good thing. The image through the cup. I don't know if you guys can see that. But yeah, let's go ahead and just sit it down on the towel and we will let it um, cool off. And I'm all right, so it has been about 10 minutes. It is cool, well, warm. It's not cool yet, but I'm kind of eager and I'm gonna just go ahead and open it up and see what we got. Well, this is definitely a good sign. Color saturation looks like it was really good. well I was complaining about how dark <laughs> the colors were but the press uh, made them brighter let's get that off there all right guys this is absolutely something I would try again um, with the laser copy paper I want to see if I would get a different result but I would say for my first time trying my infusible ink pens and markers that it did not go too bad. So yeah, I would say not too shabby on this. I would say though, um, the color in it was like, it was pretty relaxing. It was like doing a color sheet. But this is a labor of love. No, I'm going to say this is a labor of curiosity. Um, I, there was just a couple of things that I wanted to try. I went on ahead and did it, and I like the result. Hey guys, that's all I have for you today. If you got any questions, concerns, emotional outbursts, let me know. And if you haven't done so, go ahead and subscribe to Color Me Portia. But until next time, peace.